Welcome back to Homeschool Highways. I'm here with Bonnie Rose Hudson, author, and we've been talking about how parents can get involved, take some of the lessons and the things that they're doing with their children, package them together, and write a good piece of curriculum specifically for schoolhouseteachers.com, right. Right? right? Now I want to go and talk about the children. How can we inspire and how can me as a parent, how can I inspire my children to become writers? One of the biggest things you can do is just listen. Mm -hmm. When they have a story, even if it does not make any sense whatsoever. One of my earliest memories I had crawled up, my grandmother was bedridden. Uh, she had arthritis very badly. And I would crawl up in her wheelchair beside her bed and tell her stories. And I was six at the time at the oldest. And I was telling her one time about this dream I had. And I was just going on and on and on. And she said, boy, that was a really long dream. And I said, oh, no, the dream ended a long time ago. I'm just making the rest of this up. Right. And, but no one ever discouraged me from doing that. My grandmother was always great with that. My mom has always been wonderful with that. And just kind of going with it. So one of the best things you can do is just listen. And don't correct grammar or structure or anything like that too early on. Just let them tell the story. Let them put down what they're feeling. And then later on, if they want to polish that and submit it somewhere, then you can guide them so they don't get it back from someone with a lot of angry red marks all mm. over and say, okay, this is a great story. We're just going to put a little bit of polish on it before we send it off to whatever, the newspaper contest, the online submission, whatever. Right. And then help them that way so they don't get too strong of a rejection, you know, at a, at a tender age. But right. Okay. So you mentioned newspaper contest. So where would, where would a child find a contest or something? Is there 4-H or anything like that that might have a, a writing some community Part. groups have them. Um, some uh, some local libraries will host them every year. I know uh, the one in my town did for a long time. One of the easiest ways to do it is to look online, look for a Facebook group about it, ask other moms. Um, with all the changes in social media, things like that are networking out you know, very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. What about pen pals? Does that help? Pen pals can help. I always had at least several when I was growing up. Really? So yeah. that's encouraging. Do you think people are going to lose that ability to write with a pen and a pencil? It's frightening, yes, and I'm a little <laughs> concerned about spelling, too. Yeah. <laughs> We're shorthanding too much. <laughs> yeah, that's true, and the pen doesn't tell you when you're making a mistake. And no. You know, yeah. 